Hola, how is everyone? I hope good. I am Sunny with Healing Power of Divine Universe, and I am here with a reading on what they want you to know, what your person wants you to know. I hope everyone is doing really well. I am here at my favorite park. I'm going to definitely create a bunch of new videos today. It's a beautiful day out. The wind's not blowing. The sun is out, and it is gorgeous. So it's a great day for it, and my energy feels pretty good today so let's get started here so what do they want you to know the first card I pulled is king of wands practicality so they're wanting to bring some practical things into your life practical things into their life maybe bring a relationship in together and really use practicality to to develop it to grow to expand to expand your knowledge expand your wisdom expand your relationship if it's in passion romance but they want you both to be practical and really think about what it is that you want where your goals are where you're heading in life um, are you making the right choices are you doing the things that you really want to do but they're wanting you to definitely to think practical maybe they're a real practical person maybe you're not um, maybe that's something that will help you in your life uh, become more practical if you kind of don't have that sense um, or vice versa so the king of wands um, definitely is a powerful person it could be a man or woman I'm going to say it's a man but um, this person is real practical so maybe it's taking longer for your your situation to come together it doesn't have to be in romance it could be with a maybe a new partner for a business maybe a new friendship or so on so we have red squirrel Gather your resources now, for they will sustain you through coming change. So you're, they're really wanting to, or maybe they are, or maybe they're telling you to, to really hold on to what you have regarding finances. Don't be going and overspending. Um, try to save as much as you can. Maybe you're going to kind of hit a, a dry spell when it comes to work or with your finances. So they're really wanting you to, to hold on to what you are making. Or... It could be them. Maybe you haven't had very, very much contact with them lately, and it's because they've been working so much so they can gather up, you know, and save their money so they're be able, maybe be able to provide for you better or provide for your business or whatever your situation is. But um, I'm feeling that this is going to be a love reading because that's what Spirit's telling me. So I'm going to kind of go with that. So this person's really gathering up their finances and really saving. Maybe... They want to take care of you. Maybe you're a woman and it's a male that's coming in and they want to be able to provide for you and make sure that you are, you know, they're able to give you everything you desire. So that's awesome. I mean, who wouldn't want that, right? We have you glow, we beam. Thanks. In case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all you've shared, uni the universe. P.S. It's just another way of those nutty body things. So they're telling you that that maybe people have taken advantage of you because you have a extremely large heart. Maybe you're very giving. Maybe you're very loving. Um, but they want you to know that it's not really so much that you are... You're, you're a great person. I don't want to say you're not a great person because you are, obviously. But your heart's a lot bigger than your wings. And I think people have really kind of taken advantage of that. People have really kind of zoned in on you and really have um, used that against you. And I, they want you to know that that isn't a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to be a very loving person. It's not a bad thing to... to have a big heart to want to help people to want to make this a better world for us all to live in so just know that your wings are following your heart though because you know if you're a good person and you do everything with unconditional love your wings will grow as big as your heart is so number 22 set your course know where you wish to go have a plan the right direction so they're wanting you to really have a plan to what you're wanting to do, what step you're wanting to make next in your life. Are you wanting to stay where you're at? Are you wanting to move? Are you wanting a new career? Uh, are you wanting to expand your business if you have a business? But they really want you to take some time 
and be practical about it and have a plan to where which steps you're going to take next which path you're going to decide to go down and so on so really take some time on setting your course maybe this person that's coming in is doing that maybe they're really trying to have a really strong plan before they step forward towards you to offer you something maybe they're wanting to make sure they have all their ducks in a row just always you know have faith that whatever your situation is whomever you are wanting to come in and love or if you don't even know the person maybe it's somebody that you don't even know but this person is really trying to get their ducks in a row they're really trying to you know gather up finances really be stable they're wanting to set you know their course where where are they wanting to go are they wanting to come towards you if do you guys live in the same city do you live in the same state do you live across the country from each other so on and so on but they're also wanting you to have a plan too so if you have a plan and you have new love come in don't forget about your plan just because of love don't allow somebody to come in and kind of take that away from you so make sure that you if you're wanting love in your life or you you have love or so on or you just met someone uh, they really want you to stick with your plan and they want you to be very vocal about that to whomever you're dealing with if it isn't in romance it might be with a new uh, partner with a business it might be a new friend it could be with family but you know really set your course and really stick to it and that person the other person is going to do the same Surrender. I can release my need to control. So you need to surrender to the divine. Stop trying to control everything. Stop trying to figure out if everything's going to work out. Stop trying to rush love coming into your life. Stop trying to make things happen before you're ready and before the universe is ready to bring it in. And this person needs to be doing the same thing. You both need to really surrender and allow the divine to take over and guide you both on the path that you need to go down. And if it's together, that's beautiful. Then you can go down the path together. Healing. Spend some time healing. Maybe this person that you're thinking of is healing. Maybe they just got out of a really toxic relationship. Uh, maybe they're healing from childhood traumas. Maybe you're not needing to do some healing. But just know that you... I think it's it's like spirit is telling me that these cards are meant for both of you so you're really mirroring each other that you both need to spend time healing allowing your past to to be worked through allow the traumas to be worked through felt and then release to the divine so then when you do come together you have a healthy um, non-toxic relationship that you can start fresh and just really enjoy each other really have unconditional love and without fear, without doubt, and all the other things that come if we don't heal from past traumas. Gracefully aging. This car it has been coming out a ton. So if you are struggling with aging, if you're not liking the way your you know your skin's looking, you're not liking your new wrinkles, uh, gray hair. I the other day when I finally did my hair because I haven't. I mean it's really hard because I've been living in my car so. Um, when I did have a chance to actually get ready, I noticed this whole side of my head was all gray. And it totally freaked me out. I was like, oh my gosh. But then again, I thought about my dad. And my dad has all white hair. So I'm sure that I'm going to too. And it's not like, you know, I can't dye it. But I don't have the money to do it. So I prefer just to wear my hat because I just felt so old. And I just felt like, you know, the past couple years or past 10 years have really caught up to me. And it just kind of really made me feel old and just I really felt like I looked old and so I'm sure this card's meant for me but we, we're really supposed to just gracefully age not worry about the gray hairs not worry about the wrinkles we're all beautiful and we're you know even the older we get even when our skin starts to sag and we don't we're not so spry and you know young feeling and young looking we're still all beautiful from the inside out and that's what matters and that's what we all need to remember we have facet so really with this card when I see it maybe you're needing to spend time with your children um, just some alone time maybe you're missing maybe you're feeling really alone maybe you're not with your children maybe something happened that your children have been you have been kind of taken away from your children or you guys are in different towns different cities um, but really just don't get stuck in that just know that this will pass Cause see to me it's they it's a it seems sad this seems like you're missing the togetherness with your family togetherness with your children maybe with a love partner 
spending time together. Um, maybe you used to spend a lot of time with them and you really, really miss them. I know I miss my daughter so, so much. I think of her every time I do anything, when I come to the park, when I go to the beach or, you know, so on. I always wish that she was with me because we've always done everything together and I just miss her so much. I love her so much. But I've got to learn. I mean, she's almost an adult. So, I, you know, maybe it's teaching me and her both something to kind of break free from each other. So then... I'm not so codependent on her and she's not so codependent on me. And when she's old enough to, you know, leave and go off to college, I'm not struggling then. You know, you never know what the universe is doing. Just always have faith in the plan and always have faith in the, on the journey that you're being guided down. Listen. So you both are needing to listen. Maybe listen to yourself. Maybe listen to the universe, to what, you know, the higher above's trying to tell you. Listen to your intuition. Listen to others around you. Maybe you need to pay attention to what other people are saying and doing. Or listen to your heart. Really, just go within. Meditate as much as possible. Meditation, whoops, sorry, um, is really important for each and every one of us. Even if you just sit on a bench and you clear your mind and you allow spirit to talk to you. You allow your intuition, your instinct to guide you. But it's a good time for you just to listen. Listen to the stillness of your mind. Listen to your heart. Don't listen to the outside world. Wisdom. So definitely you're you know, you're gaining a lot of wisdom during this time. We gain a lot of wisdom each and every day of our lives. People don't realize that. But everything that we do, every obstacle, every challenge that we're hurtling and we're going towards and you know, the journeys that spirit, you know, takes us down really teaches us a lot of wisdom, a lot to help us grow into the people that we are supposed to be, where we're supposed to be at life, whom we're supposed to be, what wisdom we're supposed to share with the world and so on. So really gather up your wisdom, really pay attention to the things that you are learning, what spirit is teaching you through the challenges, through the good times, through the bad times and so on throughout your life. That's very important. And share that wisdom because not everyone that we know has gone down the same path as us because we're all unique and we're all learning different things. And Spirit is wanting us to teach other people the wisdom that we do gather and we do learn through each challenge each day of our life. So please share that wisdom. We have three of wands, motivation. So try to be more motivated. Maybe you've been just kind of in a slump. You've just felt really defeated. You felt discontent and bored. Um, maybe you're... You need to be more motivated towards your career. Maybe more motivated to towards love, to maybe attracting love, to um, maybe more motivated to get up in the morning and just really allow yourself to not feel depressed, not feel drugged down and just beat up from the world and so on. So allow yourself to be more motivated. Find things that will help you be motivated to do what you're desiring, to to be able to get up in the morning and really take care of yourself, get dressed, look nice, smell good, get out and go for a walk. Just be more motivated. Don't allow um, your weather, maybe your weather's really bad, so that's really hard. I know when I used to live in Wyoming, the winter would just, oh, I was terrible. I got to the point where I wouldn't even hardly get out of bed, and that was just not me. I'm just such a hyperactive type, and I'm always going, so I definitely am in the right place right if I could talk place for me to be living because it really motivates me and I love to be outside so I allow it to motivate me to keep going so really have a lot of motivation and if you don't find things that will motivate you towards the things you desire we have um, orangutan working to live jealously not living to work so if you're working too much if you you know have really become a workaholic you've allowed your work to kind of take over and it's not allowing you to find the joys and other joys in life such as a relationship or being able to take a nature walk or be out in nature sit and meditate really allow yourself to to work obviously to make money because we all need to make money but we we also need to know that our jobs should bring joy to us they shouldn't make us dread getting up every morning they shouldn't make us um you know not be in a good mood we they shouldn't be stopping us from seeing the beauty when we step outside our front door and so on um and then we're not supposed to be living to work yes it's nice to have money 
And I know a lot of people get hung up on material things and they think that that's going to bring them so much joy and so on. And truly what brings us joy is peace, unconditional love, freedom, happiness, and doing the things that we really enjoy. We have, if they once loved you, they still do. Thanks for every single time you ever fell in love, whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, and whether or not you were loved back. It changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back, the changer, the universe. So if you're, you're wondering if somebody in the past loves you, if they still love you, just know that they do. Um, they might not act like it. Maybe they never told you that they loved you. But everyone you come across has really fell in love with you for, a, you know, a distinct uh, thing that you provide to this world. If it's your smile, if it's your skin, if it's your just your personality, if it's your strength, your courage, and so on, just know that those people do love you, even when you are at a time in your life that you might not feel loved by anyone. When you do feel that way, though, know that the universe, your angels, your guides, your ancestors all love you. And you should be able to provide that love for yourself. And that's always a hard lesson that we all have to learn each and every day. Because we always want someone else to love us too, obviously. We have believe, strange encounters. So if you're having any type of strange encounters, such as, you know, I mean, there's a lot. But if you're seeing spirits, if you're seeing, you know, um, you have a dream and then all of a sudden it comes, you know, the same day you, you, have, you have the same thing happen to you you or occur while you're walking in the park or you're at work really believe in those things because that's the way that the universe speaks to us they're trying to guide us they're trying to give us messages and if you're able to see spirits that you know rule the earth i mean they're around us all the time that that is a very special gift and you should really embrace it and don't fear it we have empathy i am open to seeing both sides of a situation so your empathy really needs to be strong at this time. You need to allow it to guide you. To be able to definitely put yourself in other people's shoes and really feel what they're feeling. We never know what is going on in someone else's life. We never know how someone is feeling. We can assume, but typically we're not right. Allow your empathy to be unconditional love. Allow yourself to really embrace other people and what they go through. Um, you, people on the outside, they might see somebody and think that they have it all. But truly, when maybe that person goes home at night, maybe they're sleeping in their car and they don't have a home. Or maybe they have a nice home, but they go home alone and then they don't. Um, sorry, sometimes I get interrupted. So um, let's move on. Oh, empathy. So just make sure that you're open to empathy, really feeling what another person feels and having sympathy and, and you know, love for other people. We never truly know what a person's going through, how we're feeling, how they're feeling. They might really show the world that they're strong and they're, you know, have tons of courage and that everything's great. <coughs> Excuse me. But deep down inside, it might be completely different. We have completion. So something is coming to a completion. The last puzzle piece is being put in. So maybe that's with your person that's coming in. Maybe you're both putting that last piece of uh, puzzle puzzle piece sorry into the last spot so then you guys can complete your past really heal from it and move on and come together healthy and strong and loving we have keep the faith that's twice that faith has been brought up in this reading so it is very important for you to be keeping your faith at this time really really believe and you know believe that the universe is going to provide everything that we need each and every day Instinct. I brought that up earlier. Really allow your instinct to guide you at this time. Really allow it to, to show you which path you need to go down. Don't second guess it. If it's telling you something, then just believe it. No matter what. No matter if somebody else is telling you that it's not right, you need to follow your own instinct. We have success and growth. So this um, relationship is going to have a lot of success and growth. You just need to keep the faith and, and really believe that it's going to come together. We have suffering in silence. So either one of you or both of you have been suffering in silence. Maybe something's been really, you know, weighing on your heart. Maybe you've gone through something that's just really knocked you off of your game, off of your throne. But we need to kind of get out of this. We need to really open up to the world, really open up to people and allow people in and allow people to know what, we, what we're feeling and what we're going through. I am one of those people. Um, the world, 
regeneration. So regeneration is, you know, it's going to come. Maybe um, you both have been living kind of in your past generation, maybe tr family traditions, maybe um, the way the world would, has made us see the world. The, the, like society, they've told us one thing, and if we don't follow that path, then we really are outsiders and so on. Maybe you're both going to bring this regeneration to the world for the world to see and really open up their eyes to new things and really embrace it. We have Al. Seek out deeper knowledge to see through deception. So really allow the owl, really look closely, really pay attention, really listen to see if somebody's trying to deceive you, um, to really pay attention to people's needs and what, why they're coming towards you. Are they being sincere? Are they being deceptive? Are they wanting something from you? So really be aware of that. Allow your, your spirit um, animal, the owl, to guide you and to really show you the truth. We have those you love, love you. To be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget they're watching. Tally-ho the universe. So again, that's uh, reassuring you that the people in your life really do love you. You might not be feeling that way, but they really do. Number 40, keeping up in its immense effort, advance. So they want you to put in more effort to really advance in your career, advance in your love life, advance in life. To really take that step forward on that new path. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. So again, instinct, intuition is being brought up. Don't be indecisive. Allow your intuition to guide you in the right direction and really follow that intuition to help you make the decisions you need to make. Success. That's twice. We have success and growth here. And we have success. So know that success is going to come into your life. It's on its way. It is like probably one step away. So just keep the faith that everything is going to turn out successful, that your life is really going to take the turn that you're desiring, that you really want where you want it to go, and know that the people and the things that are healthy and will bring happiness and unconditional love are on its way. The universe is sending it your way. You're going to have this success. Success in yourself and success in a loving relationship. Emotions. If you are feeling a lot of emotions, if you're bottling them up, if you're not, you know, expressing them, you're not being vulnerable, you're just keeping them all locked inside. Allow those emotions to be felt. Allow them to be felt so you can heal, so you can move on. Allow other people to see your emotions. If you are emotional about something, allow them to know that. Because people can't read our minds. They don't, you know, we don't have time to sit and um, try to really dig in deep with somebody because we have our own emotions, we have, you know, this is a busy life. We're busy with work, we're busy with family, we're busy with so and so. So it's hard for people to know what your emotions are for them, how you feel about the situation, how you feel about them, period, if you're not allowing those emotions to be felt by you first and then expressing them out into the world. We have faith again. So faith is really important. Please, please, please. Allow your faith to be so strong. Allow yourself to know that the universe is bringing everything your heart desires. All the love, all the joy, all the success that you are wanting and striving for. As long as you have this faith and you allow your intuition to guide you, it is going to be successful. We have spread your wings. So maybe you're the type of person that has lived in the same town for your whole life. Maybe you're wanting to branch out, but you're just so afraid. Um, you're afraid that maybe if you move somewhere else, you're not going to be happy. Are you going to miss your family? Are they going to accept it? Um, am I going to be successful if I branch out, if I move somewhere? Just spread those wings and allow them to guide you. Allow them to take you into this light, into this new love, into you know more adventure towards a person that you love, towards the life that you want. And then last but not least, I have emotional withdrawal. So again, we had suffering and silence and then emotional withdrawal. So if you are stuck in that phase right now of emotional withdrawal, it's time to allow your emotions to come out. Allow other people to know that you're struggling with something. If you're struggling with missing somebody, uh, you're struggling with um, keeping your faith. If you're struggling with not knowing your life is going to be successful or you're worried about a love relationship not being successful or whatever you know your situation is, just know all these people that the universe was reassuring you 
that love you will be there for you with that emotional withdrawal. So that is what I have for this reading today. I really hope it helps. I hope it resonated with you. I am sending you all so much unconditional love, so many positive vibes, healing, and peace. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, hit the like button, and share this video if you think someone else could really benefit from this these messages. If you would like to donate to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. It's in the link below. It's a PayPal account. I would greatly appreciate it if you would. I'm struggling financially. Um, you know, even $5 would really help me at this time. So if you can do that, much love to you all. Thank you all to all my subscribers. My channel is starting to take off. It's starting to grow, and I'm so very thankful for that. I'm keeping my faith, definitely. And if you are new, thank you for stopping by my channel. I love you, too. And everybody have a beautiful, loving day. Take care, and I will check you on my next video. Peace.